Hello, uh, my name is Anne Tabor. I'm standing here at the International Scientific Meeting in Macau with Professor Lil Valentin. Uh, and Lil, I'd like to ask you about uh, the papers you've published from the IOTA group about discrimination between benign and malignant ovarian cysts. Could you tell us about this uh, powerful tool that ultrasound is in the world of gynecology? Yes, um, ultrasound is an excellent method for discrimination between benign and malignant and exomases. And one of the best methods to use is pattern recognition, that is subjective evaluation of the grayscale and Doppler ultrasound findings. But of course, pattern recognition requires quite a lot of experience. And that is why the IOTA group has created and published a few simple ultrasound rules that can be used for discrimination between benign and malignant and exomases. It's a very simple method to use. You just need a piece of paper and you tick on that piece of paper the presence of certain ultrasound features, some um, characteristic of benign ultrasound findings, others characteristic of malignant ultrasound findings. And these simple rules have actually been validated externally in uh, 12 new centers that have never participated in any IOTA study before. And that validation study has been published in the British Medical Journal in, the, in December 2010. They work very, very well. And the original work from the IOTA group was published in Ultrasound. Yeah, it was uh, published in, in the White Journal. So thank you very much. And you have to go looking at the papers on our website. Thank you. Thank you very much.